The formula for simple interest is I equal PRT. That's principal, how much you invest, the rate in decimal or fractional form, and T in time. An investment of D dollars, so my D for my so my principal is D at K percent simple interest. So let me go on the side of my paper. If I had 5%, I'm making that up. This problem has nothing to do with 5%. But I, would have, I wouldn't enter 5 in my formula. I would either use 0 .05 or I would use 5 over 100. Well, I've got K percent interest, and that's K. I can't move the decimal over two places to the left because I'm dealing with a character. So we're going to use K over 100. So K over 100, time and years, which they tell me is 2, and my interest earned is 600. I'm going to divide both sides by 2, and that gives me 300 equals D times K over 100. Multiply both sides by 100, and I get 30,000 equals DK. We're solving for K because we're going to use the same rate in the next part of this problem. So 30,000 over D equals K. Now, once again, that's K. K is... K over 100. So let's go ahead and get this in the correct format. So that's 30,000 over D over 100. So this D in the denominator makes it complex. So let's multiply the numerator and the denominator by, one, by D. Those Ds cancel. So I'm left with 30,000 over 100D. And we can cross out some zeros. That's going to be 300 over D. Okay, now I'll go back to the problem. In terms of D, what dollar amount? So P equals interest equals PRT. Interest equals principal times rate times time. And if it, okay, where am I? In terms of D, what dollar amount invested? So we're trying to find P. Invested at the same rate, which is 300 over D, for three years, yields 2,400 in interest. So we're trying to find P. I'm going to multiply both sides by D to clear my fractions. That's 2,400 D equals P times 300 times 3. I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And that's 800D equal P times 300. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 300. And that leaves me the principal. Cross out, cross out. 8 thirds D is how much I need to invest. And that's answer E.